What's up guys, welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Today we're going to be looking at the ICP results for the 300 gallon reef as well as the 200 gallon frag system. Now the last time I did an ICP test for the 300 was June of last year and I'll link that video in the description and in July I did a video on uh, what I dosed of the tank, the products, you know, the fuel, the acro power, the um, potassium, the iodine, all that kind of stuff. It's all in that video and I will again link that in the description for those of you who are kind of wondering uh, everything that I put into this tank on a weekly basis. So um, with that said, as you guys can see, Marine Depot is the sponsor of this video and I really do appreciate their support. Now I will have an affiliate link to the specific ICP test in the description as well as the comment section. So if you so choose to pick them up, uh, please use that link because then you'll be supporting the channel and also supporting Marine Depot. And on top of that, you get a pretty awesome ICP test for a minimum price so uh, with that said let's go ahead and move over I'll show you guys what you get in the box how to set it up how to ship it out and then we'll get into the results and talk about uh, what changes I'm going to make to the 300 based off of those results so let's go ahead and get started okay so here is the icpanalysis.com box as you guys can see a big perk to it is that it's actually tested within the United States now when it comes to Triton if you guys remember you had to send it to California and then I believe they sent it over to Germany and then you had to wait for it to go through that whole process which took several weeks for this one it actually only took about a week and a half for turnaround time which is pretty awesome it took me only about two months to make the video but that's just you know that's part of life right there um, so on the other side of the box you actually uh, get all the instructions to set up your account on their website it literally takes two minutes and then they'll give you a unique test ID which you'll actually put on this icpanalysis.com slip which in turn will be stuck to the side of that vial now uh, it's very simple it's just like the triton method you're going to want to uh, put it in the tank uh, pour it out do that several times just to make sure that it's clean of any kind of detritus or whatever might be in the container and then uh, just fill it up put the lid on tight and then you're good to go now at that point you're going to want to of course dry it off completely and then put that uh, label on there and then put it inside the plastic bag and then you're just ready to ship it out with the provided box of course rip off the uh, tab on the side of the box Go to your post office and then have them put the proper shipping on it. You don't want to be trying to put the right amount of uh, stamps on there. Just go and have your uh, local USPS do it. It's cost me about $2.50 to ship it out, and that's not too bad. Okay, so with that said, let's go to move over to the icpanalysis.com site, and we're going to compare the results between the 300 and the frag system. Now, when you're first getting here, of course, you're not going to see any tanks. You're going to want to hit add an aquarium, put in the name, the volume, hit add aquarium and then you're going to want to do new test and at that point that's where you're going to get that individual icp uh, number which you'll put on your little sticker which it goes on the vial so when they um, actually upload it it goes to the correct aquarium so just keep that in mind now uh, one thing that i noticed when i was looking at both of these is uh, that anything that is red is going to either be high level or too low now uh, it's going to be compared over here to the right hand side you can select whatever you want to compare it to for me i just have it as icp suggested but if you want to compare it to the water in fiji uh, hawaii st thomas florida all that good stuff you can select that but for me or for the sake of this video we're just going to keep it as icp suggested now again anything that's red is going to be out of range high or low and i can tell you right now why these things are and we're going to get into them here in just a second same thing with the frag system now anything that's white is in the uh, correct range of course when you click on it, it's going to be blue that just it just means that's what you're highlighting not that it's high or low and uh, of course we do have a couple things here on the frag system that are um, low and high just like the 300 so let's go ahead and first look at our uh, bromine here now on both systems it's actually low it's about half the recommended ppm here on the 300 uh, let's go ahead and click on it here it's recommended to have 65 ppm we're at about 14 uh, so we're, we're even below half um, and that's just because when I dose refuel it is in the refuel but it's not a high consistency it's not it's not enough to supply what the tank needs and as you guys can see up here to the top it aids in coral coloration now if i wanted to kind of push it a little bit more i could always buy this separately and dose it to addition of what I'm, I'm actually dosing the tank to get those levels where i want them i might consider doing that just because it is low not only in the 300 but also in the frag system it's about half as low i mean so it's about half as low as um it was in the 300 so i do dose a little bit more of the refuel in the uh, frag system than i do the 300 just based on water volume and percentages um, so that might be why this number is a little bit better but for the 300 i can't 
dose any more than I currently am because of this Molly denim. And I'm not even going to get into it with you guys how to say this. I'm just going to say it the way I say it. And you guys can, you know, troll your little asses off in the comment section about it. Um, but anyways, I can't dose any more refuel because I will be increasing this amount, which is already high. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, probably go ahead and purchase this bromine separately and dose it just to kind of get the fine tuning. Now, believe me, I don't need to do this. Um, I'm getting, I feel like plenty of growth and coloration on both systems. And obviously the 300 looks you know, perfect to me, but if I want to strive for just a little bit more coloration, as you can see that it does aid in coloration, then I might consider uh, purchasing it separately, which I'll probably end up doing just to see uh, when I do this test again in the next couple months, if the levels go up a little bit more and if they're in a normal range. Now, moving over here, you guys know that I also do dose iodine. Now, since I checked this test, I have kind of stopped my iodine and, and then actually cut it down to less than half of what I was usually doing uh, just because I am dosing iodine via the refuel and I dose it separately because of the macroalgae. And um, I just have the levels are a little bit too high. That's about all. And um, again, that's in both systems. The levels are a little high. So I've already adjusted what I'm going to do uh, to fix the iodine. And that's good to go. Now, moving over to potassium, I do dose this separately as well. For the 300, I like to keep mine at 450. So this isn't high to me. I know it says that it is. They recommend the 380, but this is my current. This is what I like. 450 is what I like to keep my potassium at in there. And then here in the in the frag system, it's nor it's at the normal uh, 360. It's actually a little low if you want to be technical at the 380 compared to the 364. But uh, you know that's fine. I'm not really going to mess with that. I'm going to keep my potassium dosing, which is about 50 milliliters twice a week for the 300, and I'm just going to keep it at that because I like to have that 450 range. Again, the Molly denim or whatever, we're going to uh, just keep the dosing the same not going to mess with that that'll eventually come out through water changes um, i don't do a lot of water changes on the 300 but over time that will slowly come down um, i remember my last icp test it was even higher than that but it is being dosed from the fuel not a ton but just a little bit so i'm going to remove it during water changes it's being used up by the corals but then uh, you know i am dosing just a little bit of it it's just going to be one of those things that i haven't seen any negative results um, so i'm just going to kind of leave it as is and not add any more than i currently am now, um, when it comes to the test, that's about it. Everything seems to be pretty normal. My salt was a little low, um, but I fixed that. I just wasn't running where I should have. I didn't calibrate my Milwaukee, but um, everything is uh, normal. All the levels are good. I don't have anything bad in the tank. The tank's growing very well. The only thing that I would consider changing would be adding that bromine separately, which I'm probably going to do. I say it a thousand times. I'm just going to do it anyways. Um, again, just to kind of see if I can fine tune it a little bit more and, and just kind of push that tank to the next level. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me how long the system's been up for. The 300 gallon, um, I finished the build in July of last year. Now, it will be a full year of growth, of course, in this July. You guys remember, I did that one year update, and I'll probably find that and put that in the description as well. There really wasn't any growth. I put coral in it uh, a year, uh, you know, January of last year. I put coral in it, but it didn't grow at all because I had half as much lighting. It wasn't really doing anything. And then again, when I finished the tank in July, all the growth you see in this tank has been from July to now. Um, it's not been very long. It's definitely been under a year. And uh, the tank is just doing very, very well. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I can't wait to see what this system turns into with another three to four years worth of growth. I can I can only imagine because it's doing so well now that just with that amount of time underneath its belt, what it's going to turn into. And God willing, if it's up in the next three or four years and everything is kind of going the same process, uh, we'll find out. But you never know. I could wake up tomorrow and the system could be completely dead uh, because the power went out in the middle of the night and I didn't wake up or whatever. I mean, who knows? I'm um, just going to kind of enjoy it and go along with the ride and, of course, document and show you guys everything during the process. Now, uh, when it comes to this tank, I have mentioned before that I really only want to keep it up for about five years because I plan on taking it down and selling off the coral like I did with the 125 and then upgrading. So when I eventually move, which I want to move out away from the city, uh, just somewhere where it's quiet, where I can have a, a little mini farm, uh, some chickens and, the you know, the garden and just have a nice little quiet area away from people i'm not a people person um and you guys kind of weird considering in fact what i do for a living but it is what it is i just kind of want to be you know out there left alone to kind of do my own thing and uh when we do move i i'm planning on getting that 10 foot long tank by that four foot wide and of course three feet tall just like this one so additional two feet uh length and two feet in width is going to be a pretty big system i'm not really sure what that calculates to i haven't looked into it too much but um you know it's definitely more water so that is kind of what i plan on doing 
in the future but again anything can change um, and that's just life that's how it is now I say that because we we do these videos here or I do these videos to kind of uh, show you guys the smaller things that you can focus on I try to do the videos with different uh, types of skills you know we have a lot of beginner guys stuff but this is a little bit more advanced for those of you who are kind of beyond the beginner stuff and looking to fine-tune your tank uh, using these ICP tests are perfect for that if you want to again fine-tune stuff like bromine and stuff like that then yeah do these ICP tests make the adjustments but remember you want to make the adjustments slow and then be consistent with your ICP test to make sure you're not overdoing it because with such a fragile ecosystem, it doesn't take much to kill it and it doesn't take much to overdose something. So just keep that in mind when you're kind of pursuing uh, these smaller, uh, I would say they're not as important as the major things or as important as the basic things, but they are a part of the whole process. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, a shout out to Marine Depot for sponsoring. I really appreciate it. And uh, again, that affiliate link will be in the description. So go ahead and check out these ICP tests. It's not going to hurt. It's only going to benefit you. And uh, definitely use that link if you want to support the channel. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.